Oh, well, we're back with Batman Catwoman issue number eight. This feels, this book feels like it's been going on forever. And if you haven't seen any of my previous reviews for this book, you know I'm not a fan. I think this shows the weakness in Tom King's writing. It shows that he is a fan of Catwoman and not a fan of Batman. It shows the deconstruction of this freaking universe in a very piss poor manner. And I do not like any of the aspects of this. And this issue in particular, it didn't hit on all cylinders for me. It didn't do anything I liked. First off, I'm a big fan of Tom King and Liam Sharp. Clay Matt's not doing this issue again. This is Liam Sharp. I like both those guys a lot. They are very talented and they're great writers and artists. I, I really like them. But I have to say, I wasn't the biggest fan of Liam Sharp's artwork in this book. I think... I don't know, maybe the colorist was at fault here for making some of the stuff not look as sharp as it should. I don't know. And I guess, oh, I'm looking here now, it says Liam Sharp did the colors. So, I don't know, something about this just didn't work. Maybe it's because we rushed it a little too fast and because, whatever. Honestly, whatever at this point, it doesn't matter. So, chapter 8, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Remember that song because it plays throughout this entire freaking book. It is so annoying. Basically, we open up on this guy. His name is John Covington, and he opens the door on Christmas Day, and there's the Phantasm and Joker. It's like, hey, we're going to come in and have a chat with you, buddy. And then we cut to the future where Dick is the commissioner, of course, and <laughs> Helena calls him Uncle Dick, which I'm like, wait, what? Why are you calling him Uncle Dick if Bruce is his dad and Bruce is your dad? That's weird, but whatever. So basically... A commissioner and a bat person are working together to track down whatever Selena's doing. And, and Dick has a really stupid line about, like, I never understood why Gordon smoked all the time, but now I do. You know, days like these just you know, to light it up. It's like, cancer is the long game, I admit, but still, Selena's gonna kill me. G cool, man. Thanks for that, Tom King. Thanks for... What is this, Dick Grayson? It sucks, and I, I just... It's so aggressive for no reason. Then we get probably... I love this line because it's so bad. It is just, it just doesn't work. So Helena's asking like, why out of everyone did he choose Selena Kyle? And this is what, <laughs> this is what Bruce told him when he asked. He's like, there are roses and there are lilies. There are flowers of all colors and kinds, but her chum, she's the garden. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't, I don't understand what that is like implying like she's all the flowers in a garden like she's the rose and the lily and she's the all kinds of colors of flower i don't get it like is that a metaphor for like she's everything rolled into one sweet dark mysterious sexy just funny char is she everything that you know every woman alive is you know no nobody is just one thing tom king everybody has a dark side and a light side I don't understand this. It's it's such a oh way to way to waste the word chum by throwing it in there. It sucks. But then we cut to I guess the present day stuff. And again, this is just more of like so simping Bruce Wayne trying to like stay with Catwoman, and it sucks. It it just it just doesn't work. You don't buy the relationship in this book, and he's trying to prove to her like the people are going to die if you help these people. If you help the Joker and the Phantasm, people are going to die. She's like, okay, it's not my problem. You're the one who likes me, bro. I'm gaslighting you into thinking I'm special. Goodbye. It's like, what the hell is this? So they find this man who's bleeding out on the side of a bridge. He's about to die. But he's like, I got notes for you from the Joker. It's like, down the chimney, I'm singing a song. Do you get it? It's Christmas time. Can you tell? The guy falls. Batman goes to catch him. And then, we wish you Merry Christmas starts playing because Selena starts singing it. And... It's so annoying. It is so annoying. I will say, in, in this moment, I think in particular, I do like the way Batman looks. There's some gruffness to him that just... It's just very expressive and great Liam Sharp stuff. But... Ugh, I, I hate it. I hate this scene because it's just... I don't understand what King is trying to say about Selina in this book. Especially in like the present day context. Does she just want the Joker to be the monster does she want him i don't know it sucks it really is just frustrating so in the future we see selena sneaks into the morgue and takes the joker's body which we'll get to that scene because it's the worst thing ever 
Then we cut to, I, I guess, you know, the present day, and Selena's like, you're just using me. I'm just another one of your things. You know, you, you just own me. I'm like, bitch, please. You own him. You literally have him running around the city trying to catch you when he should lock you up in prison. He does not own you. You own him, sweetie, okay? What are you saying here? It's stupid. And Selena's like, just some stupid lines about, like, you, you figured me all out. I'm everything you got. You finally got the, the, you know, the mystery of Selena Kyle solved. You figured everything out about myself. You got me, Batman. What do you want from me? And it's just so freaking annoying. And it's like, why? I don't buy their relationship. It's just, he is being used by this woman, clearly. Just like, she is just yelling at him and forcing him into these terrible situations because she could do something to stop the Joker, but she doesn't. And he, he, she's just using him, and suddenly he's like, okay, I, I still want to be with you for some reason because chum, she's the whole garden. What does that mean? I, It sucks. And I don't like it. And I don't buy their relationship in this book. You just don't think these two should be together. Because it feels like she hates him and she's making fun of his existence. And he's generally pissed off at her. And you're like, why would these two end up together? You want to make this something that's special? Show me why they're supposed to be together. This is not what I want to see. So then we cut back to Joker and Phantasm. They're with John Covington and they're looking at like his kid. And basically it's like, you had a brother. He was like... He'd be 14 now. He was my son. And it's like, cool. Thanks, Andrea. Another, why is Andrea in this book exactly? I think the weight holds more if you don't use like the Phantasm and it's just a story about the Joker. But whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't. This book is just frustrating. So we see in the future timeline, Selena has literally chopped up the body of the Joker and and strung him to a Christmas tree. What the fuck does that mean? It's so stupid. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, wh why is she making this statement still? What is the point of this? You killed him. Bruce is dead. The Joker's dead. What else do you have to prove to who exactly? It's so stupid. And I mean... Is it kind of saying, like, no matter... I think Okay, maybe this is a thesis for Tom King. It's like, no matter what Selena does, she'll never be a full member of the Bat family. Because it's like, even now, when everyone's grown up, she kills the Joker and they still won't accept her. Like, all of them should be okay with this. I don't care who it is. I'll give you some reservations for Dick. That's it. But everyone else... Jason, Todd, Damien, you know, Tim, Cassandra, Stephanie... Luke, Duke, whoever, if Jace is in here, all of them should be okay with the Joker being killed. I'll be, I'll give Dick the like, no, that's not what Bruce wanted. Why'd you do that? But I don't like this active pursuit of just like a Batman and a commissioner trying to stop Selina from the crime she already committed. It's like, we know it's her. Quit trying to make this anything bigger than it is. And I just... <sighs> Then we get a final, kind of, we get like a final moment where, you know, it's like, you know, it's so stupid. It's just the Joker and Selena. Selena's like, is it my fault for everything you do? It's like, no, shut up. We know it's not. And, and Joker, of course, just gives a long-winded dialogue like, is it your fault if a child drowns and you don't save it? It's like, of course, but, you know, victims of circumstance and all that shit. Just like, things happen for a reason. Chaos ensues. You just do what you want and the world will be fine. We live in a society. Oh, yeah. So, I don't like it. This is a, okay, it's like Joker is gaslighting Selena and then Selena is gaslighting Bruce later. And it's all a bunch of bullshit, and I don't like seeing it. So that ends that scene. It's like, hey, I'm a psychotic Joker man. I'm going to go eat people and babies and eat Bruce Wayne, and it sucks. And then we see that Andrea's trying to talk down to this boy at John's place, but then Joker tries to strangle her and kill her, and basically it's like, haha, I'm the Joker. Quit trying to trust me when we're doing these things about your kid. <laughs> I'm a psychopathic man. And you're like, cool, thanks for nothing in this book. Honestly, this did nothing. This did nothing. I What did this accomplish? Nothing. And it's just a frustrating read. So, holy shit. We got so much of this book left still. We got like four issues or five. 
I'm counting. <laughs> we got four issues left. I just... Oh, it's so much, and I don't think it's the good so much, you know? It doesn't... Nobody comes out good. Like, Selena doesn't come out good. Dick Grayson doesn't come out good. Andrea doesn't come out good. The Joker doesn't come out good. Batman sure as hell doesn't come out good. Helena sucks. And it's just a frustrating read that goes nowhere, and the story is incredibly hard to follow. The 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 line work and stuff with Liam Sharp here, it kind of bleeds too much into the next scene. More so the Clay Mans, and those looked identical, but like everything here just looks the same and it's just average. And I'm just tired. I'm really tired of this book. And I'm not excited <sighs> for the next four, four issues of this still. What else can we do here? How long can we tread on water with like them not finding the Phantasm and Joker? How long can we do like the manhunt for Selena Kyle in the, in the future? Like, here's something about this book I'll say. I don't even know what scenes take place in the past in this. I'm just going to assume it's the stuff with Joker and Selena at the end. I think everything else is the present and the future. But it's so bad and not interesting and it's just a frustrating read. It's just frustrating and it's bothersome. So, Batman Catwoman, if you can even call it that, issue number 8. I'm going to give a 3 out of 10. Now, thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter and I will catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe, good luck.